then I have one of my um, my own custom uh, texture mats. It goes with my uh, kind of rustic kind of collection, but I thought it would work really well on this one also. So I'm just going to take it over here and use the rolling pin and just press down and then just move it over. So the idea is don't get, don't go right to the edge and then you won't get a line in it. Okay, for instance, like if I go like that, then I'm going to get that line. See that line? But if I don't go to the edge, then I don't get that. Okay, now I've got to be trying to get rid of that. Probably doing more than I need on the inside, but I'm not exactly sure where the cake will go. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Now the reason I do this before I trim it is because when I press on it, a lot of times it'll go out over the edge anyway. So I may as well trim it once instead of twice. So I'll just come around, and this is why I say don't use this fondant that you're removing on a cake for a cake covering because it could have little wood splinters in it now. Okay. There we go, all nice and textured and ready to be colored. So let me get my airbrush. Okay, so steampunk cakes are usually all about metallic colors. So I have some airbrush color here, which is a uh, gold sheen, and I also have a bronze sheen. So I'm using, I'll be using airbrush colors, I'll also be using luster dust and things, um, you know, so not just airbrush form. So I'll go ahead and uh, use the gold here, and I'm going to pop it in and then just spray the whole thing. You can see how that detail is starting to show up and then after this dries a little bit I'm going to go back over the top just very lightly on the top of some of these and with a different color. If you do this then the cord won't get um, on top of your board and make marks. You wrap it around your arm like that. Got a little spurting on the airbrush. Um, needs to be probably cleaned. But for this, it's not going to matter. And just to clean it, I just run it under warm water. There are airbrush cleaners out there that I use every once in a while. A little bit more and we're there. Which is good because I can tell this really needs to be cleaned. Okay, so I have this color. This is actually red and chocolate fondant mixed together. And I'm just going to bring it over the top. Voila! Did I make it? Yes. Okay, so just smooth the top, the sides. Almost has a leathery look, the color. It would be really great if I could see the other side here, but I can't. Too short. Okay, turn it, turn it, turn it, work it. Open, in, open, in. I think I am about there. So I can go ahead and trim, grab my pizza cutter. Okay, cover this up and then we can go ahead and attach this. Just kind of move that out to the side, bring this on over. And I'm going to go ahead and put the pole in now. And then I'm going to put a little buttercream down at the bottom. You could do royal icing. Um, I'm not transporting this cake anywhere. If I was, I'd probably do royal icing. Okay, so then pick it up. 
find that opening, which it's right there. You want to go ahead around the sides, over the pole, and then put your hand here because it's going to come through the fondant. Right about here, let it drop. Yay! All right, clean all this up. Trim around here. Okay, and then I could just check the bottom area here and just tuck any of this in that needs to get tucked in. <laughs> 